Hey everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel if you are new. My name is Indriana. Today I am doing another lot showcase video. I am going to be showcasing some of my favorite aesthetic lots to transform the world of Brindleton Bay and The Sims 4. So if you're looking for some lots to enhance the world of Brindleton Bay, but also just to transform your save files with lots that are visually appealing and give your sims a lot to do, then this video is for you. As always, timestamps and links will be in the description. Credits to all the CC and lot creators for this video. For the first lot, we have the Calico Yacht Club, and this is created by Simkira. This lot is the perfect place for your Sims to go hang out and relax, and this build features a lounge, bar, pool, and tennis court, which makes it a great community lot for your sims to visit by themselves, with friends, or family. And the description for this lot by the creator states that it was previously an exclusive yacht club for only the richest citizens of Brindleton Bay, and a recent decree by the local mayor opened up this swanky lounge for public use. And despite the recent changes, the Calico Yacht Club remains a favorite amongst the Brindleton elites. So starting with the outside of the lot, as you can see, it's just super gorgeous and I feel like it really fits in to the world of Brindleton Bay and it adds more of like a Hamptons feel to Brindleton Bay. All of the lots that I'll be showcasing adds more of like a Hamptons coastal vibe to Brindleton Bay that I feel like really just enhances the world. The, starting with the outside here, we have two golf carts here, which are really cool. I don't think these are functional but they definitely add to the aesthetic so there's a little parking lot here and um, there's also a parking lot on the side where we can see some cars and then just from the outside there's some seating at towards the front entrance as well as towards the sides which we will get to in a minute. And as you can see, there's this really nice greenery and I really love the landscaping that this creator did on this lot. So now moving towards the front entrance, everything, this whole lot, this whole building is white and blue. It really fits the coastal vibe very well. As soon as you walk in, there's a bar situated at the front. There will be a bartender here to serve drinks and snacks. And then there's just a little uh, section here towards the entrance to hang up coats and things such as that. And then there are two doors that lead to bathrooms in the front here. And this is just so pretty and simplistic, which I really love. I love the use of the blue and the wood tones as well. And just the furniture choices, which is really nice too. And then going back towards the entrance, there's this other door here. I think this leads to another bathroom as well which is just the same as the other one so then after the entrance over here if you walk towards the left you can see that there's some more seating and then as we go straight along there's just some more lounge areas here and seating it's super gorgeous you guys I, again i love the use of furniture i love the use of colors like even this just flower here and everything just looks perfect if you go straight out past the lounge it leads to a really nice patio like i said uh, in the beginning from the entrance it kind of loops around on this patio where there's some extra seating and i feel like it would look really nice in screenshots for both the morning time if you have your sims come here to do some activities as well in the nighttime which i think would look fire with all these little candles on the tables and then this loops around and leads to another little lounge area where there is a little bar cart which is nice and just some more seating and then it also loops around to the back so as you can see it loops around and we have a pool here as well as a tennis court back here and I love that it's placed in the lot where they had the original country club in Brindleton Bay so it fits really nicely it was meant to be built for this uh, lot size which is nice and of course we have the beautiful views of Brindleton Bay and the water so as I said yes there is a tennis court here coming back towards the pool we have some lounge and seating areas here and then towards the right we also have another bar which is nice so there's an indoor bar and outdoor bar so if we go back on this patio here 
there's more seating as well on these two sides everything just looks like it fits so well together this little area here we have some more seating and a nice piano so yeah generally this is just a really nice lot to replace the default country club that we have that comes with this world in Bridleton Bay. And this lot is just super pretty as I mentioned before. And with the pool you can just have your sims come here and swim and hang out by the bar or have them play tennis, give them a cute little tennis outfit to play with their friends and generally it's just a really nice replacement and a really nice country club for your sims to come and hang out. Next, we have the Whiskerman Seafood Restaurant by Sim Kahira as well. And this restaurant is perfect for your Sims to grab a nice meal. The menu is even catered to the theme of this restaurant and has some nice seafood options. And uh, according to the creator, Whiskerman's is an upscale seafood restaurant located on the Brindleton Bay Wharf established in 1974. Whiskerman's has been serving the local community and tourists alike for decades. If you're looking for prime seafood, visit Whiskerman's on the wharf. So I love that Simkahira provides little like backstories and little context for the builds that uh, they create, which is really nice. I feel like it adds a lot to the game when there's a little backstory. And this is just a really well-made lot as well. It's super gorgeous. So starting with the outside of the lot, as you can see here, we have the entrance you just walk up these stairs and there's a menu already over here for your sims to check out and there's just some nice seating here for them to wait while they are seated so your sims are gonna come over here towards this entrance and um, over here we have the host station for your sims to be waited on to be seated and this door over here this leads to the kitchen which looks really nice as well this is a really nice kitchen for the chefs to cook in so it has everything that they need to cook with after that i'm gonna show you guys the main dining area and the main dining area is through these double doors there's a lot of different seating options here. I love all the furniture choices. And then next to the double doors, there's a, another door here. And this leads to a nice little bathroom. And then going back out, we have a, another bathroom towards the right as well. So your sims can come here and use the bathroom if they need. And down here as well, you go down these stairs, there's some more outdoor seating options here. And what's really nice about this too, uh, which I like, is that your sims sitting outside can see the chefs here because it's a little open window. They can see the chefs here cooking up their food, which I thought was pretty cool. That's really nice. You know, you get like dinner and like a free show. And um, I love that this really nice like cherry blossom tree i think it's a cherry blossom tree is just placed here and so like the vibes and the ambiance of this build is just super pretty and elegant and um this lot also has some more seating and if we go back towards the main seating area there are some stairs and um, from here you'll be able to see that there's like an outdoor rooftop like patio that your sims can um, sit at there's even like a little bar up here which is nice and I can imagine that this would be really pretty in the nighttime as well with all the lights around here in Brittleton Bay yeah generally the front and back looks super pretty super gorgeous i love the whole feel of this lot it's pretty it's just a really nice place for your sims to go to to have dinner lunch whatever with their family and friends now we have the perfect cup cat cafe and this is by Hugo trait this is a really cute and quaint cafe and just the whole name and concept of this build is so cute and unique it's located at the heart of the whiskerman's wharf this is a 20 by 15 lot and the perfect cup is the latest redevelopment of brindleton bay inherited after her grandmother passed away owner nina simmons needed to save funds to fix the cafe and beat the giant corporations waiting to buy the coveted property spot and luckily 
With some creative thinking, the help of some furry friends and some fundraisers, the Perfect Cup Cafe has become a home to the best coffee in town and the sweetest cuddles from the adoptable felines. Again, I love it when lot creators provide a little backstory because I feel like it creates more of a connection to the lot, a little more of a, you know, just like better gameplay in general. Again, this lot I feel like really adds to Brindleton Bay and adds more of like a very coastal, minimal, soft aesthetic and vibe to Brindleton Bay, which I love. Again, I love all the color choices and the landscaping. As you can see here outside, there is a little seating area where you can come out here and read a nice little book with a cup of coffee and like a croissant. It's just a whole vibe. And past the entrance, as we go into the cafe, it's just gorgeous, you guys. Like, look at that. I love that there's windows at the top as well because it makes the space feel very bright and airy and more open with more lights and so starting over here we have some nice little couches and seating areas and you'll see throughout this lot there's a lot of furniture for cats as well because cats will spawn on this lot so you can be here and you know hang out with the cats and interact with them so it's a perfect place to have your sims come here by themselves or with friends and relax and have a day where you can lounge and um just play with some little kitty cats and even maybe adopt one from here which is pretty cool because they're real cat cafes you know in real life and i have a cat so i just thought this was a really cute um idea and i definitely wanted to have it in my save file so over here as i said there's some seating there's even a little cute cat bed here and some really nice coastal paintings to really fit the vibe and then over here as well we have a nice little cat tree towards the window because if you have a cat you know that they love to a lot of cats do love to sit on like window sills and watch out outside watch the birds go by if they're indoor cats and then over here we have the main area of, of the cafe where the baristas will spawn so we have all the things that they would need we have the coffee machine coffee grinder and then as i mentioned before over here there's just some more seating and if we loop around and we go up these stairs it's nice because you can look down from here and see everything, all the seating and all of that. So up towards the stairs, there's some other cat furniture here, um, litter box and cat tree for the cat to look out the window again and just like a cat feeder and then towards these two doors over here i'm pretty sure these are the bathrooms and the bathroom even in itself it's just so cute it's you know a bathroom so it doesn't have to be too much but it's just really nice oh this painting is really cute too and then we have the other bathroom here which is just the same as well so as you as i said you can kind of see all the seating areas down here from the little bathroom balcony up top where the bathrooms are and then if you go out here on the porch there's some nice seating areas out here as well with some nice plants and it's just a really nice ambiance you can come out here or be inside to have your food and your coffee and just hang out with some really cute cats so and as i mentioned it's a 20 by 15 lot so it's just really nice that it can be placed here because it fits right in with the other lots i feel like that i placed in this area too the restaurant and the yacht club because it has really nice views of the water and everything so it's just overall a really nice and relaxing vibe it's a very simple and quaint cute lot so yeah overall i love this lot and it's the perfect place for your sims to come relax for the next lot we have the pino and portraits and this is a place for your sims to go for angelic paint and sip experiences in brindleton bay on the second level there is an aesthetically similar apartment and this lot can be used as a residential lot or a lounge and i feel that it's the perfect place for your sims to have an event with their friends or family and like imagine having a ladies night out with all your sims closest friends here or having like a pre-bachelorette party here i feel like that would be just is the cutest and also along with this lot i have a mod recommendation that i feel like would work really well with this lot and that is the sip and paint party mod by cassidy simmer with this mod you can plan a social uh, event it'll be labeled 
under the sip and paint party in the calendar when you add events and the main goals of this paint and sip event is to paint on easels catch up with friends make drinks take pictures and of course eat food and with this mod you can choose to make drinks for yourself or hire a bartender and order drinks from the bar which this lot includes which i will show you in a little bit and your sims will receive different buffs depending on how the event goes and this mod also comes with a wide variety of brand new paintings for your sims to enjoy making also comes with some new cast and buy mode items which are the paint party easel and paint party bar as well as some cute little face paint options and just to mention this is a 20 by 15 lot but i did place it on a 20 by 20 lot uh, near whiskerman's wharf as well just so i could have all my lots i felt like fit together all the, like community lots kind of in on the same strip so as we can see starting on the outside again i love the minimalistic like bright colors to really brighten up Brindleton bay and make it more of like a hamptons aesthetic um i love the use of like landscaping choices here and greenery here we have a nice little fountain here have some nice roses on each window and then we have a cute little seating area here outside as we enter the building this lot is just one of the most gorgeous lots i think i've ever seen and shout out to all the creators in this video both cc and lot creators because they spend so much time building and it's just really crazy how they can make such beautiful lots but this one is just super pretty when you enter you can see that there are multiple tables here that have little easels i don't think they're functional but um there are other easels in the back that are functional and it comes with like little wine glasses on the table and little paint sets as well so your sims can sit here and like drink and talk and then towards the right here we have a bar and again i love the use of greenery it just looks super Super elegant and ethereal a uh, bartender will spawn here on this lot and then there's just little decorations of little pastries and food here and uh, drinks on the side here as well so you can come here and sit by the bar as well for a little bit and grab a drink and then bring it over to your table for the painting and then towards the back here we have some more easels and I really love this like big library that uh, the lot creator put here it just makes it look kind of like an academia type of aesthetic too and um, these two easels here I think should be functional so you can have your sims come here and paint next to each other and chat uh, towards the left we have some more like books and things we have a little microphone here I think that's functional and a piano and um, then we have some more like couches and seating areas oh as you can see here this lot of course does include CC so I may not have downloaded everything but you know that happens or I may not have had uh, something from a pack that's used since I don't have everything but you know you can always replace um, something that you may, may have forgot to download because um, that happens to me a lot and I'm doing these types of videos and um, yeah so there's just a lot of nice seating here and then towards this library here in the back um, there's two double doors and that leads to a really nice bathroom I had to replace the mirrors here as well because I think I accidentally forgot to download a cc item but everything else should be like the same i double checked but i just could not get the mirror here for some reason but then this leads to some little stalls here for individual toilets and then as you can see oh my gosh this lot is just gorgeous from the wallpaper to the ceiling to the floors everything just all the choices it's just gorgeous and just from this angle you can see it in it's kind of like it's full glory it's just so pretty even like this archway here oh, it's it's just so pretty you guys should definitely get this lot in your game if you play with cc and then going towards past this bar here as you can see there's another like lounge area with some more easels and everything so your sims can come out here with their friends and their party or their group or whatever or by themselves and lounge here and um, paint over here towards these double doors this leads to a set of stairs so upstairs here there's actually an apartment so we have a little apartment and you know this could be the lot owner's apartment they could live above the paint and sip if you wanted to do that too but it's just really pretty here we have some nice seating area and of course the art tv on the wall everything in this build is 
just super aesthetic and very pretty so as you can see here's the kitchen it has a really cute chandelier on top you have a little library here another easel and some seating and then towards this door here next to the kitchen you have the main bedroom oh and it's so pretty i love that there's like a little vanity here the mirror and perfume and makeup brushes and jewelry and it looks really nice you have the window here you can look out into the town and it has a bed here with some really nice art pieces it's just really nice with these open windows here too makes the room feel more bright and airy you have this mirror here and then next to the bedroom we have this gorgeous bathroom as well and huge shower here and all of that and then we have a really cute walk-in closet for the sim that could live up here which is really nice i love this build so much and yeah so i feel like for this build it includes an insane amount we even have over here a little like dining like table next to the kitchen which is really nice comes with all the appliances so yeah generally i really love this build um, you guys should definitely go download this lot to include in your games it's gorgeous it's super pretty and i feel like you can offer your sims another activity to do next we have another cafe this is the horizon cafe and bakery created by curly baby and this cafe is truly gorgeous it's a great lot to have in your game for your sims to grab a cup of coffee read a book or study and like catch up with friends i feel like this is the perfect place to take pretty pictures of your sims or just enjoy some really nice aesthetic gameplay this build is just a lot in definitely a good way um here we have a lot of seating out here so your sims can uh, have the option to seat indoors or outdoors and i love the use of cc furniture i love the couches here and the chairs as well and starting with the inside of this cafe it is absolutely gorgeous I love the amount of detail that went into this build. So starting with over here as we enter the cafe, as you can see on this side, here is the main area, like the bar area or the service area where you can order coffee and treats over here. I love the use of the CC like foods here. It looks really delicious. Like I want to eat this. Um, but yeah, there's like even a menu up here. I love the amount of detail and time and effort that this probably took for this build there's even a case here as well with some more treats and pastries and all of that and then even towards the front here we have lots of statues and very like mosaic mosaic type um sculptures here but then just next to the like barista station we have this really nice seating area as i said when downloading a cc for some builds sometimes you miss a few things but for the most part i seem to have gotten a lot of the uh, cc see downloaded i may have missed a few items here and there um, but this is just a really nice sitting area i love the use of like the colors the blues and the whites and everything it looks really coastal and like very modern and chic and elegant and then as i turn around here as you can see um, when we were coming into the cafe there's just a lot more seating areas here for your sims to come and hang out and there's some really nice art on the wall very much coastal vibes um, so this definitely feels it's Brindleton Bay for like a nice upscale cafe that your sims can go to and I love this fireplace here too it's very it's very different and I love the style of it it's a very big fireplace but it looks really good in this space here and then coming towards past this area here there's a door that leads to the bathroom as you can see the bathroom is very spacious there's a separated like stall here for the toilet which is nice and then coming back towards the outside uh, from the front entrance if you go towards the right here there's some stairs that lead up into like this rooftop area and the rooftop area is absolutely gorgeous as well so your sims can have like two options for outdoor seating either downstairs or on the rooftop and it's just really pretty here too there's also an area here with like tablets and computers and a nice tv like a little lounge here that you can come here and do your work while you have a nice like pastry something to eat and something to drink or you can even have your sims come up here and like study have a little study group or 
hang out with their friends, things like that. And then there's another really gorgeous bathroom here with a separate toilet again, and it's just super pretty. And I love how much greenery is in this build as well. It all comes together really nicely, and it's just, this is one of the most gorgeous builds, and I could just tell how much time and detail went into this. For the next lot, this is the New England Church in Chapel by Amelie, and a note about this lot from the creator says it is inspired by the churches and chapels in the smaller towns. This historical building makes the perfect wedding venue for your sims looking to spend their special day in the company of their closest family and friends. And there is even a suggested gameplay idea, so if you enjoy incorporating religion in your game, you could also turn this into an actual church for your sims to visit. And just to note, the creator of this build did not place an actual wedding arch because none of them seem to match the style of this build so they mentioned to replace the fake arch with a functional one if you wish to marry your sims here. So for this lot this is a 30 by 20 lot built in Brindleson Bay as we have it here. So starting with the outside of the lot here, as you can see, it's just gorgeous. It has more of like, I would say a gothic, but also very minimal and clean type of aesthetic with the white and black with just two of those colors being used. And I just really love the style of this church generally. And then towards the back of the church here, we have just a nice little fountain and a bench back here. So just going through the end entrance here. As you can see, there are just two uh, nice large doors that lead you into the church. And then as you can see, this is just a really gorgeous church. I love the use of the windows in the back. As this is a pretty simple lot meant to just be a church or be used for weddings, it's pretty self-explanatory, but I just love the use of the flowers here in the aisles. And as you can see, there's just seating along the aisles for um, the church. And this is what the creator was talking about. So this is the arch here. And you need to have, I think, the arch from my wedding stories from that expansion pack in order to have a functional wedding here so just please note that if you're going to use this for a wedding in your game but yeah other than that um, I'm pretty sure just generally you can just come here and have your sims use this church as you can see there's a piano back here as well which is nice and you know obviously you need a piano in a church to play the wedding song I love this lot it's just super simple there's also some chairs and uh, a table here on both sides as you can see here which is nice and there's some candles and lighting along the sides of the aisles as well so just this is a really nice simple lot if you want a church in your game to have a wedding or um, if you want that aspect of gameplay of having religion uh, in your game as well I feel like this is a really nice church to place in Brindleton Bay for the next lot we have another cafe this build was created by Oat Sims, but this one is different as it has both a coffee shop and a clothing store on one lot for this build, which is great. And this is perfect for your Sims to grab some coffee and do some clothes shopping. Like think of the thrift tea store we got in Copperdale with the high school years expansion pack, but in Brindleton Bay. And the description for this lot from the creator reads, nestled on the picturesque coast of East Hampton, you'll discover two beautifully restored historical buildings. One houses a vintage and coastal inspired Ralph Lauren boutique offering timeless fashion and classic elegance. Adjacent to it is Ralph's Coffee, a charming cafe where you can savor exceptional coffee and delectable treats in a setting that exudes Ralph Lauren's signature style. So this lot is a 20 by 15 lot but I've placed it on a bigger lot here. So to start it off we're gonna start Start on the right side here and uh, the right side here is the cafe as you can see from the outside I just love the building generally I love the plain white it really fits well into a Hamptons like coastal vibe and aesthetic here so here we have a cute little bike and we have some nice like chairs here outside with some tables that your sims can come and drink their coffee and sit out here as well and as you can see there's just like the Ralph Lauren sign out here too and you know 
know like the very much like coastal preppy vibe like aesthetic that is on Pinterest I feel like having your sims come here like you can take some really nice screenshots to like match that vibe so coming towards the entrance here over here we have again the same seating as outside so your sims can come here grab a coffee relax or even do some work some schoolwork or whatever and here we have this really nice big mirror here and we have a nice little menu here too I love the decor and the flowers just these little simple touches I feel like go a long way and over here this is where the baristas will be and where your sims can buy coffee and different treats and pastries I love the CC used here as you can see there's little cookies and cinnamon rolls and all these different pastries here cupcakes all that and then there are stairs here and up here I love the fact that they have these beautiful open windows that you can see outside again the choices the lighting choices and just overall the furniture choices are super simple but very pretty and up here too um there is even more seating area for this cafe and with all the windows surrounding the cafe it just feels very open and airy and light so we love that and then back towards the stairs i'm pretty sure this is a nice little bathroom for your sims to use while they're here so that is the cafe now moving towards the clothing store side of this build here we can see the ralph lauren sign as well up here but in white and obviously outside here we can see some mannequins on display with some really cute Ralph Lauren type clothing like the very you know classic type of preppy aesthetic and style so we're just gonna head in here and this is so pretty here we have some clothes there are clothes for both uh, men's and women's here and yeah it's just a really nice store as you can see there's clothes on the shelves there's a nice little lounge area for whoever's doing shopping with you to go and sit and wait for you to try on clothes and as you can see here this is the register to have your sims check their whatever they're purchasing out here it's really cool and i love how realistic this build is too because there's even a rack here for the shopping bag but then this store also has an upstairs up here there's even some clothes for children so we have this cute little ralph lauren like sweater here for kids and just some like more options to buy so again like this is a really nice store here and really nice for like gameplay and storytelling if you want your sims to come here and um, do some shopping for their children as well i think that's a really cute idea and then up here obviously for any clothing store or boutique you need to have some changing rooms so you have like individual changing rooms here with a mirror so you can have your sims try on the clothes and walk towards the mirror and see how they look so overall this is a really nice lot it's definitely a beautiful lot that has multiple functions that you should definitely add to your game here we have the perfect place for your sims to have a wedding in Bridleton Bay we have this wedding barn created by Rachel Ped on the gallery and this lot is completely CC free if your sims are looking to tie the knot somewhere cute and rustic this little wedding barn is the perfect venue it is a 30 by 30 lots that I placed where the museum used to be but just to start on the outside when your sims would be entering this lot we have this nice little archway here and it's just gorgeous it's everything that a wedding venue should have just gorgeous flowers and greenery here with the roses and just the leaves here and just even the lights on this little like archway thing over here it's just really pretty and I feel like with all these lights it would look nice in the nighttime too and we have some more flowers and greenery outside we even have this really big fountain that is gorgeous and as you can see over here on the outside we have essentially where the wedding would take place even this little gazebo here is absolutely gorgeous this is the perfect place here to take pictures of 
your sims here getting married, of the bride, of whoever you have getting married here. I love the chairs that come with the My Wedding Stories pack and I love how they're just lined up here perfectly so that all the wedding guests can sit here and watch the wedding. It's absolutely beautiful. So coming towards the entrance here. Oh my goodness, this is just decorated so nicely. It's absolutely beautiful, perfect for a rustic type wedding, but also still fits the like coastal vibe. And I love that there's just like everything that you would need placed here. There's even like a little fountain here. I love how this creator decorated everything here. There's even a table, I guess, for the people getting married to sit here, the bride and groom. Um, but yeah, overall, just a really gorgeous lot. And then over here, we have a nice little bar for your sims getting married and their guests to grab drinks. And then we'll come out here so that I can show you guys there's even a space outside for your sims wedding guests to sit. So there's some seating out here too for them to come out here and eat their meal um, at the wedding reception. And then here we have the piano actually, I guess that would play the wedding song um, when the bride is walking down the aisle. So overall, this is just a super gorgeous lot. I absolutely am in love. So yeah, generally this is the perfect lot for your sims to have a beautiful rustic wedding and have the wedding reception as well just all in one just a really nice uh, wedding lot for your sims and as I mentioned before but just having this location by the water oh uh, that's gorgeous that'd be a gorgeous place to have your sims get married and uh, like just have the wedding generally because the views of the water is great they can come out here and take some pictures even by this archway yeah generally I really love this lot this is a great CC free option this is the coastal cabana built by Farfalla sims from the creator the description reads take a break and book your next vacation at the coastal cabana rental a property owned by anastasia brownstone this property may be small but with a pool and multiple balconies all you'd want to do is spend your days outside enjoying the radiating sun and blissful breeze with two bedrooms and one bathroom there is plenty of space for a small family or even a lucky couple to forget about their troubles at home and relax in this tropical paradise take a spin on the included golf cart and find local hotspots to dive into the most delicious oceanside cuisine. So that description sounds really good already and the lot size for this build is 20 by 20. So I just placed it on this lot here by the beach here in Brindleton Bay because I felt like it was the most fitting as this lot has like palm trees and all of that. And this lot is slightly furnished. Here is the little golf cart that Farfalla was uh, talking about. And and I like it. It looks like a really nice addition to the rental property. So yeah, you can have your sims come and stay here. Um, you can have like a little friend vacation or a couple come and stay here. It looks like it's really nice for gameplay and it's just gorgeous right off the bat. I love the use of the trees and just the greenery around it. It really emulates like a coastal tropical vacation vibe, which I love. And I love all the open windows. It just makes the space it makes the house look very airy and open as you can see here from the front door there's a little mailbox here right off the bat here we have some open space you can like decorate it if you want more with like pictures and all of that and then there's this staircase that leads upstairs but we're just gonna like go through everything here on the bottom floor first so here we have the kitchen i love all the cabinets so you can fill this with like plates and cups and all of that and then from the kitchen here it has like an open door where it leads back Back to the front of the house and there's like a front porch space here that you can put like sofas or like seating in the front here it's really nice it has a really nice view of like the grass and the road and everything so back to the kitchen here i love the furniture that this creator used i love this big fridge now moving back towards the entrance and then just going straight over we have the living room and the living room looks really nice as well and i love the new feature that the sims has where we we can put different textures on the ceiling because I feel like it adds a lot to a build and I love the use of the wooden um, ceilings here. But I love the couches that uh, Farfalla used here and I love again the big open windows so you can look outside and just be surrounded like feel like you're surrounded by a lot of greenery. As you can see here there's a fireplace and some really nice coastal paintings. So yeah like I 
said, you can also decorate it more if you'd like, but I feel like it's a really good starter home or like starter vacation spot for your Sims to go to that's like nice and minimally furnished. So it's kind of like Airbnb or something like that. And then there's this really nice big mirror here. Your Sims can come and like take pictures. And then towards these double doors, we go out here and there's just a space here. You can put some more chairs out here as well. Maybe even like a nice little fire pit. And then there's this really nice like Kind of infinity pool that like wraps all the way around the house which i love i love this idea i love that the creator of this lot like incorporated this i think this is really cool and i didn't even see this but out here this leads to a bedroom down here in the first floor i love that so this bedroom here this is a very simple bedroom and from this bedroom you can look out and i love where i place this lot because from the bedroom you can see the pool which is nice but you can also see the beach and it's a really lovely view as you can see here so i love that there's this bedroom here on the first floor and then towards the back of the house as you can see this is what it looks like super pretty from the first floor there's a little walkway here and there's some trash cans at the bottom going back to the downstairs area if we go upstairs here there are multiple rooms so starting with the room on the left here this is just one of the bedrooms it's really minimally decorated but i love that because then you can go in and like fill up space however you see fit like maybe even put a tv there or something add um more or less to your liking and there's a nice big mirror here there are double doors uh, that connect to the bedroom and it leads out to this really nice little uh, balcony space here you can look out onto the side here towards the beach or just onto the road so i love that and then there's also like another balcony space here and i don't know if it's connected necessarily to a room or i may have downloaded this wrong i don't think so but yeah there's another balcony space here and you can kind of see towards the beach and everything but coming back towards the upstairs we're gonna go to the room that's in the and this room seems like a laundry room so you have your like washer and dryer and some cabinet space here as well um to store all like your clothes any um laundry detergent or products here so this is a nice little uh uh, laundry room and then the last room over here is a full size just really huge bathroom so you have the shower you have a bathtub here and you have a toilet and a sink and all of that which i love like i said it says i was missing five things when i placed this lot so i may not have exactly everything that should be in this lot just to note that and then towards these two uh, double doors here there's this really nice balcony that you can look out at the ocean and it's just super pretty. I love where I place this lot. It just makes the most sense to place it here because of the views and the whole coastal vibes and everything. So this is definitely a really great lot to have in your game and it has very minimal CC. And if you have these packs that I mentioned before in your game, definitely should download it. And it's really great for gameplay, really great for storytelling if you have your Sims come here and vacation here. So those were some of my top aesthetic lots for Brindleton Bay. And of course, I have my Coastal Living Let's Play and I use a lot of these lots and will be using a lot of these lots in my next few episodes of my Let's Play. So go check it out. I will leave a card here in my video. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video and found some really nice lots to download and put into your game. And please like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys.